Support Laneside. Get something cool. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews. As always, I'm the bearded beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And we've got some really exciting stuff to show you on this episode, so why don't we take it Laneside and see how it's stacked up. All right, guys, here we are back in Barrie at Bolarama, and we are on the House China, the typical house shot. And we're going to be looking at Radical's newest, the Incognito. So, uh, yeah, kind of like that. Now, this is the newest asymmetric from Radical. Comes in at 2.487 RG. 053 differential and 017 intermediate diff. We've actually seen a few balls come out with that core range on it recently, um, but this ball is different from what we've seen. Um, and I know you guys hear that a lot, but uh, th this is why we're going to talk about it. Um, in both the Zenith, oh, yeah. Um, in both the Zenith and the uh, from Brunswick and the Track Strata that we saw came out, that were very similar to these numbers, uh, with a solid cover stock, the ball was very uh, gritty, very grippy as a solid, uh, very tractiony. So the ball didn't have as much motion as what I'm seeing out of the Incognito, at least down lane. Now the uh, the Zenith I liked because it was a little more continuous than the strata but the total hook was pretty similar when we got to the radical incognito i wasn't sure what i was going to see so i lined up at 25 and the first three shots here you've seen all have been really really good now what confused me a little bit was when this ball was first advertised they said it was you know that the uh the re the result solid cover stock kind of strong hooking but farther down lane and i was like well that ball hooked a lot that ball hooked a ton so how am i striking at 25 but then i realized that was part of that that new cover stock in talking to other staffers and listening to to mo and uh listening to phil that new sharp cover stock uh you can see here the strong hooking angular reactive performance cover stock uh it definitely pushes that characteristic that hooking characteristic down lane much further so where the result solid we saw the ball hook really really early so i had to move way way left this ball allows me to use that motion down lane and get a lot more entry angle and a lot more continuation through the pins. Now that shot there, you can see I pulled, uh, I dropped my head, really activated my shoulder. I moved into 30 and I thought that I, I was going to have to, you know, hit this one a little bit harder to get it to hook because of how it performed at 25. But when I just relaxed and let the ball come off, I realized this, this is what makes this ball different from everybody else's. So as I moved in, I was still able to throw it out, get it out to that, you know, farther out point and take advantage of the hook spot like I would almost do in a, uh, a pearl ball. Um, so now I'm going to try to move a little bit farther in and I'm going to try to hit that hook spot again because I'm just figuring it out at this point. So once again, I'm going to pull this ball um, you know, this happens when you're trying to figure out a new ball. It happens to me all the time when I'm when I'm using a ball for the first time. And you can see I just, I tried to make it hook again because I was like, this ball can't keep hooking. It just can't keep hooking. Now, when this one came out, you'll see that, that crazy core shape uh, that we saw at the beginning of the video there, surrounded by dy dynamic core. That's one of the reasons I think it carries so well. Um, that increased carry potential that we see from the the dynamic core pulls out a couple of those 10 pins and you can see it's definitely gotten me out of trouble when i've missed with some terrible shots inside this is what i want you to take a look on a look at on this shot i want you to take a look at where this ball exits the deck now once again i'm standing 33 the same place i was for that last shot when i pulled it And this is what really changed my mind about what I, you know, got me thinking about 
what was going on. You can see I just let it out. That ball went off the deck behind the 8-pin. That ball hooks. What I'm starting to figure out here um, is that as the friction, that defined friction point starts to, to form, this doesn't react like a solid ball. Even though that solid cover stock is giving it a, a great footprint in the oil and allowing it to hook when it's heavier, when you get that defined hook point, it allows you, with this ball at least, with this core shape and this cover, to play it almost like a, a like I used to play the katana, um, like a, like a, you can see, I moved into 38 there once again, I'm, I'm not letting it go there, um, but what I was trying to say is it, it allowed me to play it like a pearl ball, like a really heavy angular pearl ball, but still take advantage of that cover stock so it doesn't get so wet dry, so over under. Uh, so I've got one more shot here. Uh, at 38. You can see every time I've made a move inwards here, I've had to kind of relax myself and remind myself I can let it hook. Um, what you can see here at 38, when I get deep at this, with this ball, even as a solid, I would think I'd need to go to something polished or have to go to something that was a pearl to get it to read and have enough angularity and enough angle of entry without rolling out to get through the pins there. And you can see another strike. And I've, I've gone from 25 to 38, so 13 boards already. So we're going to pass it over here and take a look at, uh, you know, what's this, what I uh, compare everything to, and that is the Radical Intel. So I'm going to throw it at 25, and you can see that shape there. It looks pretty familiar. And we're going to overlay it with the Incognito, and I think you're going to see uh, the same thing as what I'm seeing here that the Incognito is a baseline f about five boards stronger, but it actually hooks at the same point down lane with a stronger motion, much more continuous, much more angular, and it keeps hooking off the deck. This thing is awesome. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a show. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side.